Hello everybody, I hope you are having a fantastic day. Back in the day when I was a kid, I was actually sick a fair amount. And one of the things that made that more tolerable was the fact that I got to spend my mornings with Bob Barker. And so over the years, I just kind of had this thing for game shows and I built tons of game show buzzers. And in fact, the very first video on this channel was a game show buzzer. Grip on it, and when you push the button, it's telling that player one has buzzed in. Uh, the other thing you can do is I wanted to show that you could make a box without even using any solder at all And so I made this little controller box over here And so I got to thinking what if I could build the ultimate game show buzzer platform because people ask me to build these things all the time And what if I could just build something that was super flexible? So how would I do that? Well, I decided to use the Wemos D1 Mini. Now, I know there are ESP32s and there's Arduinos and all kinds of stuff like that, but I chose the Wemos D1 Mini for a couple of reasons. One, it's cheap. You can get six of these right now on Amazon, delivered prime for $16.50, so a couple of bucks a piece. These are just a few of the things that are available for the Wemos D1 Mini. Do you need a prototyping shield? It's a buck. Do you want a relay so you can turn something with high current on and off? Snap it in and you're good to go. Do you want one of those cool NeoPixel RGB LEDs? Well, there you go. What if you want to stack two things on top of each other that shouldn't be stackable? Well, no problem because we've got a double shield. And we've also got a triple shield. And I think we've also got a quadruple shield. What if you want to make your wireless device also cordless? Well, how about some battery management? This thing is three bucks. You can buy these batteries at the risk of your own life and charge them up with this little external charger or use the battery management on the board itself. You got options and I love options. So where am I going with this? Well, I designed my very first PCB with my own two hands thanks to my sponsorship with PCB Way. Now I want to pause for a minute and tell you that you do not need my PCB to do this project. I am building a full platform that you can use however you want but they did give me the time and the courage to sit down and learn how to use KiCad so that I could build this shield. If you want to use this $1 shield, you're welcome to. If you don't want to use any shield, you're welcome to, but I designed this and I think it's pretty helpful. So in my opinion, this shield has everything you need to build some really cool things. You can put an RGB LED up here. You can put three separate LEDs up here. You could put a NeoPixel in here and you've got the resistors to deal with all those. You've got a place to put a button. You've got a place to put a buzzer and you can either mount that buzzer directly to the board or you can put headers in here and locate it remotely. There's a transistor to drive that buzzer and a place to put a 1K resistor to current limit that thing. And if that's not enough, there's an extra set of pins on the outside that allows you to tap into anything that I didn't break out for you. So what this gives us is a ridiculously flexible system. Now, the one that I typically build is as simple as this. I am tapping in for a button and I'm tapping in for an LED. So I put my LED in here horizontally and I put my button up here and I've got my resistor. And there you go. I've got all the remote components I need. Now, you can also build one that's a little bit more complicated. And as you can see, I mounted this RGB LED the other way. So I've got red, green, and blue. I've got a buzzer. I've got place for a remote button. I've got all my resistors in one neat, tiny package. Or you can go full prototype mode. And so as you can see here, I've got a set of female headers sitting on the top. I've got a set of male headers sitting on the top so I can interact with each pin twice. I've got my RGB LED spaces up here where I can go horizontally if I wanna hook them up individually, or I can go vertically to hook up an RGB LED. And I've got my remote button and my remote buzzer, as well as the transistor and the 1K resistor to deal with that. And so this one little package will allow me to hook basically anything I could ever want up to the system. And then all you have to do is put together the configuration you want and you solder some female headers on the top of this thing. You solder some male headers on the bottom of this thing. You set it up so that you can read the words on both sides and neither one of them is upside down and you pop it together and you are good to go. Now I have set up an entire repository of code for this that's only going to keep getting better. And the first example I'm giving you will allow you to connect to my cloud server 
absolutely free. Now, I'm not promising I'm going to keep that up forever because I'm going to give you the software so that you can host it yourself, either on the internet or off the internet or whatever you want to do. And I'm also going to give you the code for an offline version of this that requires no internet where you can just connect and buzz like normal. All right, so I'm going to give you a quick demo of how these things work, but I really do have to hand it to PCBWay.com. I just looked it up, and you can get 50 of these boards delivered to your door for $43. That's including shipping, and that's pretty amazing. Like, you can start a business with them. You can resell them. Uh, just amazing, amazing company, and I thank them for their support. So let me show you how this works. This version of the software, we're connecting to my cloud server, which is at openbuzzer.com, and you can go on there and get all the code and all that kind of stuff. But um, when I push this button, this light's going to turn red. And then when it connects to openbuzzer.com, it's going to turn off. So you'll see we turn red, it beeps, it turns off, we are connected. So now the thing that we're in is lockout mode, which means that only one person can buzz in. I push the button, you'll get a thing here that uh, I've hit it. And then up there on the screen, I can see that it was 6 minutes and 45 seconds since I started the timer that the thing actually connected. Now, if I hit this one, it's actually going to get a two and a half second delay. So I won't be able to buzz in again. I'm kind of stuck there. Um, and so that's how that works. Now, we also do have another version of it where you can just see the order that the people buzz in. And so now you'll see I'll buzz in with this side and I'll buzz in with this side and they both buzzed in and we saw which one was first and which one was second. So there are a ridiculous number of options and things like that. We're not going to get into all of it in this video. Um, I'm going to make a separate video on installing the software. I'm going to make a separate video on building enclosures. And uh, I just want to encourage you to go to openbuzzer.com if you're interested in contributing to the project, uh, either financially or with code. If you make a cool LED pattern, submit it to me so that I can add it to the options. If you create something cool with it, share the code with everybody. And if you're interested in hiring me to build some custom buzzers or other electronics gizmos, uh, feel free to reach out to me as well. I do some custom work. I'm not cheap, but I do what I say I'm going to do. And I do it when I say I'm going to do it. So I appreciate you guys watching. I am giving away a ton of stuff and we'll be back in another video and I'll show you some more.